Jackie Dean. I move that the question be now put. The question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary will say no. No. The ayes have it. No. Party vote. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Opposed. Act New Zealand. Five votes opposed. Māori Party. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote in favour. Honourable Chris Carter. One vote opposed. Honi Haruera. Members, the ayes are 62, the noes are 59. The question will be put. Now, on part two, we have many amendments uh, to go through. So the question is that part two and the amendments stand part. The first amendment is in the name of Hilary Calvert to clause 11 to substitute or reorder words uh, that do not alter the meaning of the bill set out on SOP number 214, and this is ruled out of order. The next amendment in the name of Hilary Calvert to clause 12.1 to substitute words uh, do not alter the meaning of the bill uh, as set out on SOP 214. They are also ruled out of order. We have an amendment in the name of Hilary Calvert to clause 12.2 to admit of conservation and substitute for land information as set out on SOP 214. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary will say no. No. The the noes have it. The have it. Party, vote. party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes opposed. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine votes opposed. Act New Zealand. Five votes in favour. Māori Party. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote opposed. Honourable Chris Carter. One vote opposed. Oni Harawera. Koreo e Fokai. Members, the ayes are five, the noes are 116. The amendment is not agreed to. The next amendment in the name of Hilary Calvert is to clause 12.3, as set out on SOP number 214. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary will say no. No. The noes have it. The ayes have it. Party vote. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes opposed. New Zealand Labour. Uh, 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine opposed. Act New Zealand. Five votes in favour. Māori Party. Tokufai Fokahiana. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. <clears throat> One vote opposed. Honourable Chris Carter. One opposed. Oni Harawera. Koreo e Fokai. Members, the ayes are five, the noes are 116. The amendment is not agreed to. The next amendment in the name of Hilary Cal- Calvert to clause 12.4 is out of order. The next amendment in the Minister's name is to omit and substitute clause 13 as set out on SOP number 207. The question is that the Minister's amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary will say no. No. The ayes have it. No, yeah. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes in favour. 
New Zealand Labor? 42 votes against. Green Party? Nine votes opposed. Act New Zealand? Five votes opposed. Māori Party? Oh, sorry. Uh, aroha mai. Toko whā. Toko whā e whakaiana. Progressive? One vote opposed. United Future? One vote in favour. Honourable Chris Carter? One vote opposed. Honi Harawera? Koreo e whakai. Members, the ayes are 62, the noes are 59. The amendment is agreed to. Can I just remind members that? Can I just remind members that when votes are taken, when we're voting, that there needs to be silence. So I'll ask you to respect that. Please. The next amendment, in the name of uh, Hilary Calvert, is to omit clause 13 as set out on SOP number 214. This is out of order, as being inconsistent with the previous decision to omit clause 13. We now have the Minister's amendment to omit clause 15 as set out on SOP number 207. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary will say no. No. The ayes have it. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk to conduct a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine votes opposed. Act New Zealand. Uh, five votes in favour on this occasion. Māori Party. Tokofai Tautukwana. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. Vote in favour. Honourable Chris Carter. One vote opposed. Bonnie Harawera. Kahole taku waidua i pakai. Members, the ayes are 67, the noes are 54. The amendment is agreed to. The next amendment, in the name of Hilary Calvert, is to omit clause 15 as set out on SOP number 214. This is out of order as being inconsistent with the previous decision to omit clause 15. We now move to the Honourable David Parker's typescript amendment to insert new clause 15A. This is uh, ruled out of order as being inconsistent with the previous decision to insert new clause 4B in part 1. We now move to the Minister's amendment to omit and substitute clause 16 as set out on SOP number 207. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary will say no. No. The ayes have it. Party vote, Paul. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. Uh, 42 votes opposed. Green Party? Nine votes opposed. Act New Zealand? Five votes opposed. Māori Party? Tukufai Tautukwana. Progressive? One vote opposed. United Future? One vote in favour. Honourable Chris Carter? One vote opposed. Honi Harawera? Uh, Kahore taku mana i whakai. Members, the ayes are 62, the noes are 59, the amendment is agreed to. The next amendment, in the name of Hilary Calvert, is to clause 16, as set out on SOP 214. This is ruled out of order as being inconsistent with the previous decision to omit clause 16. The next amendment, in the name of Hilary Calvert, is to clause 17, 1 and 2. Uh, this is ruled out of order as not being a serious amendment, as it does not alter the meaning of the bill. The next amendment in the name of Hilary Calvert is to clause 17.2 to omit natural 
condition and substitute natural state as set out on SOP number 214. This is um, ruled out of order as not being a serious amendment as it does not alter the meaning of the bill. The next amendment in the name of Hilary Calvert is to clause 17.2 to omit favour of the Crown and substitute favour of the Crown for the benefit of all New Zealanders as set out on SOP number 214. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary will say no. No. The noes have it. The noes have it. Party vote. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes opposed. New Zealand Labour. <laughs> 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine votes opposed. Act New Zealand. Five votes in favour. Māori Party. Progressive. Uh, one vote opposed. United Future. One vote opposed. Honourable Chris Carter. One vote opposed. Tony Harawera. Members, the ayes are five, the noes are 116. The amendment is not agreed to. The next amendment, in the name of Hilary Calvert, to clause 17.4, is out of order. The next amendment, in the name of Hilary Calvert, to clause 18.1, uh, set out on SOP number 214. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary will say no. no. The noes have it. No. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes opposed. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine votes against. Act New Zealand. Five votes in favour. Māori Party. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote opposed. Honourable Chris Carter. One vote against. Pony Harawera. Members, the ayes are five, the noes are 116. The amendment is not agreed to. The next amendment in the name of Hilary Calvert is to. Oh. Point of order to your um, Mr. Speaker, you don't want to or the or 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 Uh, could you please um, state your point of order? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Chair, I would like to thank you for the memo of the Tai Tokerau, and I would like to thank you for the memo of the Tai Tokerau. I would like to thank you for the memo of the Tai Tokerau, and I would like to thank you for the memo of the Tai Tokerau. I would like to thank you for the memo of the Tai Tokerau. Well, um, I'll hear the. Um, yeah, and, and, uh, and I was lucky enough to. Uh, uh, I wasn't. Well, I wasn't wearing the headpiece. I, I was getting a translation um, uh, of the uh, of the speech, which I, I think could well have been different from the interpreter's translation, which was coming through the um, uh, coming through the earpiece to the to, to the clerks. But there is there is in my mind. No doubt that not only on that vote, but on an, at least one earlier vote, um, there was um, a vote cast in a way which uh, could only be considered irregular. And I, I know that uh, uh, we were waiting until the end because we know we're not allowed to interrupt uh, during the declaring of votes. But now that the point, is, the point of order has been raised, I think it is appropriate to uh, to agree with the member. And I think what we probably have to do. Uh, now is clarify uh, the earlier votes 
uh, of, the, uh, of, 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 of the member, because what is, uh, Mr Favrell has pretty clearly put 